the old man who made me sent me up here to bring back his poodle pom pom and all the lost toys. But they don't want to come back to Earth and belong to naughty children anymore. So I'll have to go back on my own. But first of all, I must mend my rocket because Squish, the space boy, broke it for me. I'll knock at his house and he can come and help me. Wake up, Squish. What is it? I want to go and find some cardboard to mend my rocket. I'll be out as quick as I can. All right. I'll go and pick a lollipop while I'm waiting for you. If I don't get back to Earth soon, my battery will run down and I won't be able to use my magic beam. I do hope I can mend my rocket quickly. In my little rocket, shiny new, I will fly very high up into the deep blue sky. I will wave the Earth goodbye. If you like, you can come too. I will find the biggest star that twinkles very bright. It glitters like a diamond and sparkles through the night. I will pass the moon and the clouds are raised. I will start to count the stars as I zoom out into space. In my little rocket, shiny new, I will fly very high up into the deep blue sky. I will wave the earth goodbye. If you like, you can come too. <laughs> Why, here's Pillywig the clown. Hello, Pillywig. Why have you got a scrubbing brush in your hand? <laughs> to clean my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need a brush as big as that. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I've only got one tooth, and I must take great care of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are funny. <laughs> oh, yes, I know I am. <laughs> That's why I'm called Pillywig the Clown. <laughs> uh, well, I must be off now, Torchy. Goodbye. Goodbye, Pillywig. Now I'd better pick my lollipop. Squish is sure to be ready soon. What lovely lollipops these are. What flavour shall I have? Uh, raspberry, strawberry or... Oh, there you are, Squish. Let's have a game and I'll squirt my water pistol on you. I haven't time to play. I must find some cardboard to mend my rocket. That's easy. I found a cave the other day. And I'm sure we'll find some cardboard there. Was there a big roll of it? I don't know. I didn't actually go inside the cave because it looked very dark. Well, we'll, we'll go in together and I'll switch on my beam and make it light. That's a good idea. Come on, Torchy. Follow me. Torchy and Squish walked and walked until at last they came to the cave. Oh, my. It does look dark, doesn't it? I told you it was. If you're afraid to go in... Of course I'm not afraid. I'll go right inside and... No, I've changed my mind. <laughs> you are afraid. So are you. No, I'm not. Well, go in on your own, then. All right, I will. Oh, dear. My, my knees are knocking together. I don't think I want to go in after all. <laughs> now you're the one who's frightened. Let's both go in together. And I'll switch on my magic beam. Okay, it's quite empty. I can't find any cardboard at all. I'm sorry, Torchy. But I was sure we'd find some here. Never mind. Let's go outside. Go outside? That's what I said. Let's go outside. Go outside? Oh, do stop repeating everything I say, Squish. I'm not, not, not re repeating it. It's it, 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 so, somebody else. Somebody else? But there, what did I t t tell you? Did you hear that voice? Did you hear that voice? Good gracious me, it must be an echo. It isn't an echo, it's me. Oh, Torchy, whatever can it be? Well, I never. You must be a bell. Of course I'm not a bell. I'm a pretty, pretty bird. Oh, you are nice. I've never seen such lovely red. 
this cave? Of course I don't live in a cave. I'm not a bat, you know. I'm a bird, and I've come to help you. Oh, that's kind of you. Not at all. I always help toys in trouble. That's why I do. Like an ambulance or a fire engine bell. I've never seen a bird bell before. Will you go uh, tingling if I squeeze you? If you squeeze me, I'll pick you. Oh, don't be cross with me, bird. I want you to help us. What's the matter? I'm looking for some cardboard to mend my rocket. You won't find any here. I think you'll have to look underneath the pepper tree. I've never heard of a pepper tree. That's because you haven't lived on Topsy Twirlyland for long. We've got wonderful pepper tree here. I'll fly on ahead of you and show you where it is. Torchy and Squish went outside the cave, and the tingling bird flew up into the sky. Torchy and Squish followed him through the wood, and then they heard somebody sneeze. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you very much, Torchy, but I didn't sneeze. <coughs> Of course you sneeze. Bless you, bless you, bless you. I do hope you haven't caught cold. I told you I didn't sneeze. And if you don't believe me, I'll squirt some water over you with my water pistol. It wasn't squish sneezing. It was the pepper tree. When the wind blows through its leaves, all the little peppercorns sneeze. <laughs> oh, how funny. Here's the pepper tree now. <coughs> I'm sure you'll find some cardboard underneath it. Thank you very much, Bird. I'll ask the other toys to come and help me dig, and then we'll find it much more quickly. Soon all the toys were digging under the pepper tree, but Squish became tired and leaned on his spade. I don't want to dig for silly old cardboard. I'd much rather do some mischief. Hello? What's this on the ground? Why, it's a peppercorn that's blown off the pepper tree. Oh, that powder inside the peppercorn's making me sneeze. Oh, I've got a wonderful idea. I'll take the water out of my pistol and I'll put pepper powder into it instead. And then when I press the trigger, Pepper powder will blow out. Well, I must be very careful not to blow it into the toys' faces, because pepper is dangerous. So I'll just squirt it onto the ground. While the toys were busy digging, Squish picked up all the fallen peppercorns, and very carefully, so that no one could see, he opened each peppercorn and put the pepper powder into his water pistol. Then he tiptoed over to where the toys were digging for cardboard and squirted the pepper onto the ground. <laughs> that was a very naughty thing to... And it's so... You wicked pickle puggle! It's you! Pickle! It's you! Puggle! I'll fly down to the pepper tree and pick a peppercorn right over Squish's head. That will teach him to behave himself. <laughs> How lovely it is to be naughty. It's not lovely at all. And I'm going to break the peppercorn over you. Stop it, tingling bird. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, my goodness. Achoo! Achoo! That serves you right. It's very dangerous to play with pepper. You must never do that again. Achoo! Achoo! And with that, the tingling bird flew back to the toy. Cardboard yet? No, we've dug and dug, but we haven't found anything. I'm going to sit down. I can't do any more digging, Torchy. I'm much too pepper puggle. I'm tired too. Come on, Pom Pom, let's have a rest. Mm, no, thank you. I'll go on digging a bit more. <laughs> this ground is. I'm getting all the nasty black earth under my nails. I'll have to have a bath as soon as I've finished. Why, what can I smell? It's 
smells just like chocolate. But how silly of me. I couldn't find any chocolate underneath the ground. But it is chocolate. I'm sure it is. Torchy, Torchy, come and see what I've found. I can hear Pom Pom calling. I'm sure she's found the cardboard. Have you found the cardboard, Pom Pom? No, but I found a puddle. It's a chocolate puddle. A chocolate puddle? Yes, lovely milky chocolate. Pom Pom, don't you dare lick up all that chocolate sauce or you'll make yourself sick. I don't mind being sick. I'm the happiest dog in the world. I've got lots of curlers to put in my hair and lots of chocolate to put in my tummy. You're a silly poodle. And you're a silly rag doll. Give me back my curls. <coughs> I'm not going to be naughty anymore. Let's go and play in the lollipop field. All right. And we'll look for some cardboard tomorrow. Come on, Tingling Bird. We'll play fire engines and you can be the bear. Torchy, Torchy. Torchy, Torchy's a little battery boy. I'm a clever walkie-talkie toy with bright blue eyes and golden hair. I'm a magic beam that can shine anywhere. Torchy, Torchy, the little battery boy. Torchy, Torchy, the battery boy. I'm a walkie-talkie toy. Press my switch, see my bulbs start to glee. 